We're with AM Commerce women's basketball coach Jason Burton as the Lions prepare for their first road game of the season. Coach, you started the season at home with the 1525 tournament. Your team obviously didn't have the success you wanted, but it was a great event nonetheless. Uh, first, talk about the fans and their support for that uh, opening season tournament. Uh, our fans were great and, uh, you know, didn't have the turnout we wanted to have as far as, you know, wins, but I thought our fans were fantastic. They And the band added to that when the band came on Monday. So just to be at home to open our season up and to have the environment that we had, I know that we're going to have a lot of success at home this year. But it was good basketball. You know, the Pueblo game, we jumped out early, got up 24-4, to four, uh, but it, we didn't respond well to the zone. And so uh, just didn't shoot the ball well. I thought our zone offense was fine. I got the ball to place we wanted to get it, but we didn't. the ball didn't go in the hole. And so there's going to be nights nice like that. Uh, but we had two games where we got zoned heavily. And the thing is now we got a lot of film to watch and break down and get better at that. But um, as far as our play and the atmosphere, I think the atmosphere that was created by our fans allowed us to really jump out on Pueblo. And it allowed us to really, really for the most part, do the same thing for us Love Christian is the ball didn't fall if we wanted to. So we'll bounce back and, and get a chance to get on the road this week and, and go down to Austin and play St. Ed. So, I look for a different outcome down there, and, and, and we're, I know the team was looking forward to it. Yeah, and uh, now with the you started one and two against some really tough opponents with uh, who will be very good moving forward. Uh, your team got some very good looks from the floor, just couldn't knock them down. Just talk, is there anything that you liked from your team, first of all, and then what are you going to need to improve on down in your next game? You look at the Pueblo game, and I think the big reason why we jumped out early on was our defense. Our defense um, – and rebounding led to quick buckets for us. We were able to score in transition because of uh, just getting stops. And our girls got out and ran the floor, and, and we were able to push the ball and, and get easy buckets early on. And so um, I really liked how we came out defensively versus them. And that's what we have to get back to doing. I think when we guard better, our defense creates a lot of offense for us. And so we didn't – I don't think we guarded as well versus Love of Christian as we needed to, to 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 beat that team. And that's a team that – you know, won a national championship two years ago, and, and Coach Gomez does a great job over there, and, and he had his girls ready to play. And so um, the good thing, again, we, we got a chance to watch that game yesterday and, and, and really take time to break it down and see the good and the bad and, and things that we can clean up. And it's early in the year. We wanted to be tested early, and we were. And unfortunately, you know, we didn't beat Pueblo. Pueblo was a game we probably should have won, and, and we let that one go. Um, so instead of being 2-1, and one, we're 1-2 one and two right now. But, again, Played really good teams, and, and that'll prepare us for the Lone Star Conference. And now you got another good team on the schedule next in St. Ed's. They won the Heartland last year, won the Heartland uh, tournament, and they're going to be good again this year. Just talk about what you're going to need to do to, to to beat them on Saturday. Well, they're 2-1 and one right now, but they're shooting the ball like us. We're, I think we're both shooting like 29% right now. And, and if you look at our stats for the year right now, we're, they're both very similar. I don't think either one of us have really got, gotten off to the year that we want to as far as just play of our team. And so um, they, they do a good job. They're kind of like us as far as how they play. They do a lot of ball screens. They four out one in a lot. Um, they're more po more post-oriented, though. They look for the high-low a lot. Um, again, playing another team that executes well, that can really shoot the ball well from three. And so our guards are going to have to get up in pressure. Um, they got a big front line, six foot at three positions. But again, that's kind of like us. I think the good thing about our team is that we've gotten a little bit longer at guard this year. And so uh, I, I look forward to going down and, and playing a team that's hungry. You know, they, they know how to win, being that they won the Heartland last year. They're actually having their ring ceremony before our game. So that's a little fuel for us, I think. And uh, anytime you see somebody getting rings, you're kind of motivated to go out and, and win that game. And so um, it's a team that we've played we played closely the last three years um, and ended up winning those three games. But um, it's always been a battle, especially when we go down to Austin and play down there. It's always been a tough game. So we're going to have to come back and be ready to, to play them. But I think our team is ready to respond to the, the last two losses that we've had, and, and they'll come out and play well this weekend. All right, our thanks to Coach Burton for joining us. The Lions head down to Austin to face St. Edwards on Saturday. That game will be at 2 p.m. If you're in the area, we'd love to see you at the game. For everyone else, you can find links to live video and live stats on lionathletics.com. And can follow live updates on Twitter. I'm Marcus Jensen for Lion Athletics.